Are you praying for breakthroughs in your finances, your relationships, your health, but it feels like you're hitting a wall? Maybe you've received discouraging news from the doctor, or perhaps your dreams seem to be slipping through your fingers. In moments like these, it's easy to feel like God is silent, like He's not listening. But here's the thing. When you see nothing, it doesn't mean that God is inactive. It means that He's up to something. He's working behind the scenes, orchestrating a plan beyond our comprehension. See, the resurrection of Jesus Christ is our anchor. It assures us that even in the midst of uncertainty, God is at work, moving mountains and making a way where there seems to be no way. And let me tell you something. The devil may try to convince you otherwise, but the truth remains unchanged. The Lord will never fail you. It's not in his nature. He's faithful, he's steadfast, and he's always working for your good. Today, I want to share with you seven reasons why you can trust in the unwavering faithfulness of our God. So open your hearts and minds to receive his divine word and let's embark on this journey of faith together. But before we dive in, if you haven't already, I encourage you to subscribe to our channel by doing so, you're helping spread the message of hope and encouragement to even more souls in need. Friends, allow me to ask you an important question. Have you ever felt like Job? Have you cried out to God in the depth of your despair, wondering where he is, feeling abandoned and alone? Job, in his darkest moments, questioned the very presence of God. He cried out, I look for him, but he is not there. I call out to him, but he does not answer. Job 23, verse 3. Job had lost everything. His family, his wealth, his health. He was at rock bottom, feeling as though even God had turned his back on him. But in the midst of his pain, Job uttered words of profound faith. But he knows the way that I take. When he has tested me, I will come forth as gold. Job 23 verse 10. Did you catch that? Even when Job couldn't see God, even when he felt abandoned and lost, God knew exactly where he was. He knew every step Job took, every tear he shed, every ache in his heart. And Job believed with unwavering faith that through the refining fire of his trials, he would emerge as pure gold. Friends, in your darkest moments, when you feel like God is silent, remember this, he knows your path. He knows your struggles, your doubts, your fears. And just like Job, he is with you every step of the way, refining you, shaping you, molding you into something beautiful, so, I encourage you today, in the midst of your trials, to choose faith over fear, hope over despair. Trust that God is still working, even when you can't see it. And remember, you have a choice. Will you be peaty or purposeful? Will you grumble or be grateful? Will you be impatient or intentional? Choose wisely. For even the darkness, God is preparing you for something greater. Still in doubt. Stick around for, I am about to reveal five reasons why God will never fail you. Let's start with the bedrock of our faith, God's promises. In Psalm 145, verse 13, it declares, The Lord is trustworthy in all he promises and faithful in all he does. Just let that sink in for a moment. Every word that proceeds from the mouth of God carries with it the weight of his unwavering faithfulness. In a world filled with uncertainty and shifting sands, God's promises stand firm as a rock, solid foundation. Think about the promises God has made to you personally. Perhaps it's the promise of provision in times of need the promise of healing in times of sickness, or the promise of peace in times of turmoil. 
Whatever it may be, know this. God is not a man that he should lie. Numbers 23, verse 19. When he speaks, it is done. When he promises, it is fulfilled. Take a moment to reflect on your own life. Think about the times when God came through for you, when his promises proved true in the midst of the storm. Remember how he provided for you when you had nothing left, how he healed you when all hope seemed lost, how he comforted you when you were brokenhearted. And here's the beautiful truth. The same God who kept his promises in the past is the same God who will keep his promises in the future. His faithfulness knows no bounds. His love knows no limit. But truth be told, sometimes hits us hard. Waiting on God can be tough. It's like being in a waiting room, uncertain of what lies ahead, unsure of when the answer will come. But in those moments of waiting, remember this, God knows exactly where you are. He knows the very number of hairs on your head. He operates on his own schedule, a schedule that may not always align with our own. When you find yourself in the waiting room of life, it's easy to grow impatient, to demand answers, to wrestle with bitterness. But let me encourage you, my friend, don't lose faith in the waiting. Don't succumb to bitterness or doubt. Instead, trust in God's perfect timing. You see, God is never early, and He's never late. He's always on time, in His time. So while you're waiting, know that God is at work. He's not idle. He's orchestrating His perfect plan in the background. God's waiting room is His working room. As you wait for clarity, for favor, for opportunities, know that God is actively working in your situation. His sovereignty knows no bounds, and His plan is unfolding even in the midst of uncertainty. So, take heart, my friend, and be patient in the waiting. Trust that God's timing is perfect, and His ways are higher than our ways. And remember, while you wait, God is already at work, bringing about His purpose in your life. Now, let's reflect on season two, the unwavering character of God. In Hebrews 13, verse 8, it declares, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Just pause and let that sink in for a moment. While everything else in this world may be in constant flux, God remains steadfast and unchanging. God's character is the epitome of consistency and reliability. He is not like the shifting shadows of this world. His faithfulness endures through every season and circumstance. In a world where trust can be fleeting and loyalty can waver, God stands as a beacon of stability and constancy. Think about it. Amidst the chaos of life, amidst the uncertainties and trials, God remains the same. His love never falters. His mercy never wanes. His grace never runs dry. When everything around us seems to be shifting sand, we can find solid ground in the unchanging nature of God's character. But how do we trust in God's character, especially when faced with uncertainty? It's in our worship. Yes, even in the midst of waiting, even in the midst of trials, we can worship. We can bring our disappointment, our faith, our desperation to God in worship. Perhaps you're waiting on a doctor's report hoping for good news. Perhaps you're waiting for a broken relationship to mend, or maybe you're longing for a new relationship to blossom. Whatever it may be, in our darkest hours, we must worship. We must trust God by laying our burdens at His feet, knowing that He hears our prayers and works all things together for our good. It hasn't been easy, I know. The uncertainty, the challenges, they weigh heavy on our hearts. But here's the truth. God is worth waiting for. He hasn't forgotten about us. 
He has a sovereign plan and he's working even in the midst of our waiting. So let's trust him. Let's worship him. Let's believe that he is the same God who called us from the very beginning and he is worth every moment of our waiting. Now, let's explore the comforting truth of God's presence. In Deuteronomy 31, verse 6, it declares, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Just let those words sink in for a moment. God is not a distant deity who watches from afar. He is intimately present with us every step of the way. Imagine that no matter what you're going through, no matter how daunting the challenges may seem, God is right there beside you. He's not just an observer. He's an active participant in your life. He walks with you through the valleys and the mountaintops, through the storms and the sunshine. And here's the beautiful part. God's presence is not contingent on our circumstances. Whether we feel His presence or not, whether we're aware of it or not, He is there, unwavering and constant. But let's be honest. Feeling God's presence when everything around us is crumbling down can feel next to impossible. It's like being a farmer who plants a seed and then anxiously waits for it to grow. The real work happens underground, out of sight, and there are long stretches of uncertainty between planting and reaping. In those moments of waiting, we're faced with a choice. Will we allow anxiety and toil to consume us, or will we find peace in the midst of darkness? Peace, that elusive state we're all after, is not found in resolution. It's found in God's presence, here with us, in the waiting. You see, trusting God, even when it doesn't make sense, is not doing nothing. It's doing the most important something there is. It's allowing our souls to grow, to become who God created us to be. And even when we can't see God at work, even when we feel like Job, searching in every direction for His presence, He knows the way that we take. He is with us, guiding us through the darkness, refining us like gold. So, my friend, in the midst of your darkest hour, find peace in knowing that God is with you. His presence is your anchor, your strength, your hope. And as you wait, allow your soul to grow, trusting that God is working all things together for your good. Now, let's consider the incomparable power of God. In Ephesians 3, verse 20, it declares, Now, to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. Just reflect on those words for a moment. God's power transcends human comprehension. It surpasses our wildest dreams and expectations. When we feel weak and overwhelmed by life's challenges, God empowers us with His strength. When we face giants and obstacles that seem insurmountable, God fights on our behalf. His power is not limited by our circumstances or by the limitations of this world. Think about the times when you've witnessed God's power at work in your own life. Perhaps it was a miraculous healing, a provision in a time of need, or a breakthrough in a seemingly impossible situation. Whatever it may be, know this. God's power is real and it is available to you. But here's the thing. In order to experience God's power fully, we must be willing to put our trust in Him and Him alone. The scripture says, Lean not to your own understanding. If we try to figure it out on our own, we'll only end up confused. You might be thinking, This all sounds good, but I don't believe it's going to happen for me. But here's the truth. These promises are for believers. 
They're for those who know that God is in control, that he has set the miracle into motion, and that the angels are on the way. You're going to see your healing, your promotion, your breakthrough, your victory. God is going to open doors no man can shut and take you to the fullness of your destiny. So, my friend, put your trust in God. Believe in His promises and watch as He works wonders in your life. Now, let's turn our attention to the incredible provision of God. In Philippians 4, verse 19, it states, And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. Just ponder on those words for a moment. God is not only aware of our needs, He is committed to meeting them abundantly. Think about the times when you've experienced God's provision in your life. Perhaps it was a financial need miraculously met, unexpected blessings that came just when you needed them most, or the provision of wisdom and guidance in a moment of uncertainty. Whatever it may be, know this, God is our faithful provider. He knows our needs even before we ask, and He's faithful to supply them in His perfect timing. His resources are limitless, and His love for us knows no bounds. In every season of life, whether in times of plenty or times of scarcity, God remains faithful to provide for His children. Remember, no matter what you're facing, no matter how challenging the circumstances may seem, God is with you. He sees your struggles, He hears your prayers, and He cares deeply for you. So, don't lose hope. Don't give in to fear or doubt. Instead, place your trust in God's unfailing love and provision. Lean on Him for strength and guidance, knowing that He will never leave you nor forsake you. In the midst of uncertainty, hold fast to the promises of God. Remember His faithfulness in the past and trust in His faithfulness for the future. He is the same yesterday today and forever, and His love endures forever. So, keep pressing on, keep trusting, and keep believing. God is on your side, and with Him, all things are possible. Now, let's reflect on the profound truth of God's plan for our lives. In Jeremiah 29, verse 11, it reassures us with these words, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Just pause and let that sink in for a moment. God has a purposeful and prosperous plan for each of us. Even when life seems chaotic and purposeless, even when we can't see the way forward, God has a master plan. His plans are not arbitrary or haphazard. They are filled with wisdom, purpose, and intentionality. Think about it. The same God who created the universe, who spoke the stars into existence, has a plan for your life. He sees the bigger picture, the grand tapestry of His divine purposes unfolding in your life. So, in moments of uncertainty and doubt, trust in His wisdom. Trust that His plans for you are good, filled with hope and a future. Even when the path ahead seems unclear, remember that God is in control, orchestrating every detail according to His perfect will. Often, we find ourselves worrying about trivial matters, how we look, what we say, or if we'll be late for a meeting. But as Jesus reminds us, worrying about such things is both unreasonable and unnatural. Nature itself does not worry. It's an unnatural state for us. Instead, Jesus directs our attention to the birds of the air and the flowers of the field which are cared for by our Heavenly Father. If God provides for them, how much more will He provide for us, His beloved children? Worry. Jesus teaches, is useless and unhelpful. It cannot change the past or control the future. Instead, it only serves to rob us of the joy and peace of the present moment. Every time we worry, 
we are assuming a responsibility that God never intended for us to bear. So let go of worry and trust in God's care. Just as a child trusts their loving parent to provide for their needs, so too can we trust our Heavenly Father to take care of us. Let every worry be a reminder to surrender to God's will and to rest in the assurance of His unfailing love. And now, let's delve into the final reason and profound truth of God's love. In Romans 8, verse 38 and 39, it reassures us with these powerful words, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Just take a moment to let that sink in. God's love knows no bounds. It transcends every barrier and overcomes every obstacle. Nothing in all creation can separate us from the love of God. Think about it. In a world filled with uncertainty and change, God's love remains steadfast and unchanging. It's the anchor that holds us steady in life's storms, the light that guides us through the darkness. No matter what we may face, no matter how difficult the circumstances may seem, we can rest assured in the unwavering love of God. It's a love that never fails, never gives up, and never runs out. God is our provider, our protector, our promoter, the very essence of everything we long for and need in every relationship, in every relationship, in every situation, in every moment. He is there offering us his love and his peace. The key to peace, as we've heard, is not found in our ability to solve every problem, but in resting in who God is. When we surrender control to Him, we discover a beautiful promise. He will never leave us, nor forsake us. So, let go of worry and problems, and instead be overwhelmed by God's love for you. No matter how many problems you may have, no matter how many issues you faced, God invites you to give them all to Him. He alone can handle them and He longs to lighten your burdens and fill you with His peace. Before we close our time together, I want to extend a heartfelt invitation to join me in a moment of prayer. As we've journeyed through the reasons why God will never fail us, I know many of you may be carrying heavy burdens, facing difficult challenges, or feeling overwhelmed by life's uncertainties. But I want you to know that you're not alone. In this moment, let's lay it all before our Heavenly Father. Let's pour out our hearts, our fears, our hopes, and our dreams to the one who loves us unconditionally, who understands our deepest struggles, and who promises to never leave us nor forsake us. So, wherever you are, whatever you're going through, I invite you to close your eyes. Take a deep breath and let's come before God with open hearts and expectant spirits. Heavenly Father, in this moment of prayer, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude and humility. We thank you for the privilege of gathering together even in this virtual space to seek your presence and your guidance. Lord, you know each one of us intimately. You know our joys and our sorrows, our triumphs and our struggles. You see every tear we've shed, every fear that grips our hearts, and every hope that burns within us. Father, we lay before you all that weighs heavy on our souls. The worries that keep us awake at night, the doubts that cloud our minds, and the burdens that weigh us down. We surrender them to you, knowing that you are our refuge and our strength, our ever present help in times of trouble. Lord, we ask for your wisdom to navigate the challenges that lie ahead. 
your strength to persevere in the face of adversity and your peace to calm our anxious hearts. Help us to trust in your unfailing love, to lean on your unchanging promises, and to walk in your perfect will. May your presence be felt tangibly in our midst, filling us with hope, courage, and renewed faith. And may your grace abound in abundance, bringing healing, restoration, and wholeness to every area of our lives. We lift up to you all those who are hurting, those who are in need, and those who are searching for answers. May your light shine brightly in the darkness, leading them into the fullness of your truth and your love. And now, Lord, as we prepare to depart from this time of prayer, may your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. May we go forth from this place, strengthened, encouraged, and empowered by your Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. As we come to the end of our time together, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me in this journey of faith and discovery. If you believe, like me, that God will never fail you, I encourage you to type Amen in the comments below. Additionally, if you have any prayer requests or needs that weigh heavy on your heart, I want to encourage you to share them in the comments as well. Our community is here to support and uplift one another in prayer, and we believe that no request is too big or too small for our loving Heavenly Father. Lastly, if you haven't already done so, I invite you to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on future messages, sermons, and content designed to inspire and encourage you on your spiritual journey. Thank you again for being a part of this community. May the love of God surround you, His peace fill you, and His presence guide you in every step you take. Until we meet again, may God bless you abundantly.